Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to restore your host file back to its default state on your Windows 10 device. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And what we're going to do is start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in File, Explorer, Options. And the best match it comes up should say File Explorer Options directly above Control Panel. You want to proceed to left click on that. And now underneath the File Explorer Options window that appears, you want to left click on the View tab right next to General. And now that you're on the View tab, you want to go to where it says Hidden Files and Folders and you want to make sure where it says Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. You want to fill inside the circle here by left clicking on it one time. Once you've done that, you want to left click on Apply and OK to save the change. And now what you want to do is open up the Start menu again. Type in File Explorer. Best match should say File Explorer, right above Desktop App. You want to left click on that to open it up. Now on the left side here, you want to left click on this PC. And now depending on where Windows is installed on, you want to go underneath that disk. Most people should be the local disk and it will have a drive letter in here. Most people should be the C drive, but it might be different in your case. You want to double click on it to open it up. And now you want to go underneath the Windows folder, so double click on that. And now that you've done that, you want to go down to get to Drivers. Now you've done that, you want to go down to get to System32. And you want to double click on this folder. And now you want to go down to get to Drivers right here, lowercase d, so open that up. And now that we've on this view, you want to open up the etc folder. So it should be near the top, there's only going to be a few folders in here likely. You want to open that up. Now there should be something that says host. You want to right click on it, left click on copy, and now on a blank spot on your desktop, you want to right click, and then left click on paste. Now that we have the host file on our desktop, or at least a copy of it, you want to double click on it, and that's going to how you want to open this file. You want to select Notepad, and then click on OK. Now I already have a host file pasted in the description of the video, so I want you to copy this in. So the one that says Untitled here is the one that I'm going to have in the description of the video. And what I want you guys to do is just copy the whole text here. So just copy like you normally would out of the description of the video. Don't copy anything else in the description. I know some people were going to make that mistake, but I can't really prevent that. I'm just showing you guys you want to copy this part of the description. You don't want to copy any other parts that might be included in the description. Okay, I'm going to make that very clear because I'm sure somebody is not going to follow that direction. But anyway, we're going to copy that. Uh, I'm just going to minimize out of it. And now for the host file here, I'm going to delete whatever's here. I'm going to right click, paste in. This is what's default in the host file. I'm going to save it. So just click on Control S on your keyboard to save or go up the file and then save. Now we still have our ETC folder that should be up on our desktop. You should not have closed out of it. I didn't tell you guys to close out of it. So if you did, you just have to re-navigate over back to this path. So local disk, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC. And then we're going to take our host file that we've edited on our desktop. We're going to drag it into our new folder, or not our new folder, but where our host file was previously. So we're going to move it to here. And it's going to say the destination already has a file named this. You want to replace the file in the destination. You will need administrator permission. So click on this continue button here if you're prompted. And there we go, guys. We've just hopefully restored the host file for you guys. So I do hope this brief video was able to help resolve whatever issues you were having with your host file. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.